Good morning. Good morning. Praise God. Praise God. This is the first day of the fast. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Give him glory. Hallelujah. This is the first day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on it here. Of the 40 days of prayer and fasting. Come on, somebody. Face to face with God for 40 days. Starting today. Prostrate on our face. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Also, let me go ahead and read this so everybody knows the terms of this fast and what's going on. All righty. So, we are blowing the trumpet, everybody. This type of fast is a Daniel fast. So, from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m., nothing but liquids. Please, people, please. Unless, you know, you have some kind of medical condition or something is going on when you need to eat, you have to use wisdom. But continue to fast. Continue to pray. All right. Attention, everyone. It's time to get in the right position before God. Face to face, down on our face. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Prostrate before the Lord. I don't know if you know, but if you prostrate before the Lord, I promise you coming up with some power. Oh, hallelujah. So get your mats, get your blankets, whatever you got to get on that flow. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, I, I'm going to reiterate. I was speaking with a young lady who said, my daughter has some serious problems. I said, bring her to me. It wasn't that she just has some serious problems. She has some demonic problems. It is time for us to get powerful. I hear the word realignment. One of my friends confirmed it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, people of God, what true example did Jesus Christ of Nazareth leave, leave us? The first thing he did... He made himself of no reputation. He wasn't trying to be no star. He was a servant. I'm going to say it again for those in the back. He wasn't trying to be a superstar. And, and I got to elaborate on this. This is what God was telling me just this morning. Everybody want to be the next great thing. Don't act like y'all don't know what I'm saying. Everybody want to create the, the best this or the best that. And, there, and so much competition. If we don't learn to get together, I'm going to say it again, and unify, we in trouble. So let me continue. Ver um, number two, he cast out demons. He did not say, oh, you know, they have, they're mentally ill or they have this. The protocol term. He did not do all that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He cast them demons out. Verse three. I mean, verse three. Number three. He went around healing and delivering all who were bound or oppressed by the enemy. Let me tell you something because I don't know what kind of church you're going to. I don't know who your pastor. I don't know who your apostle. I don't know who your prophet is. I don't know. But I do know this. Someone told me, they said, well, everybody don't. The devil is a lie. All those apostles and disciples that was under him, they knew how to preach. They knew how to teach. They knew how to reach. They knew how to heal. They knew how to deliver. So come on, somebody. If you do not have the anointing to heal and deliver, you are not called of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Stop lying. I'm saying it like that. Well, everybody don't have the same gifts. You don't have the same gifts and talents, but the anointing is supposed to be present. I'm going to say that again. The anointing is supposed to be present. If you don't have no anointing, that means you can't destroy yokes. You can't destroy burdens. You can't destroy demons. I don't know what you're doing. And I'm going to read this last one. If you do not truly have an anointing to heal or deliver the people, then please tell us who called you to preach in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Oh, why I said that? You know why I said it. Because I'm sick of y'all. I'm sick of y'all fake people that's right that's what i say y'all want to be a star and in this season god gonna expose you because guess what we're in some perilous times and we need some real people with some real power and you fakers are going to get exposed and discarded oh, oh i'm gonna say it again disposed and discarded i'm gonna say it one more time disposed exposed and discarded disposed and discarded you want to know why? Because God is tired of you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So what I want y'all to do, those that are on the fast, and we have, well, we have thousands all over the world. I want y'all to, I'm going to say that again. We have thousands all over the world. There should be millions, right? Okay, whatever. But here's the deal. If you're on your face, I, I want you to, uh, if you can, have someone take a picture of you. We want to flood the timelines. This is not about, um, oh, everybody look at us, what we're doing. No. We want to incite the people to pray. Pray on your face. Let me tell you something. I'm telling you, I'm so tired of it. Everybody is marching. Everybody is doing that. That's good. Whatever, whatever. Hey, whatever positive, God bless you. But I'm going to tell you, what moves heaven and earth? Come on, somebody, talk to me. What moves heaven and earth? Because I'm going to tell you something. I see how they play these games. They play so many games, you guys, until... You, we need some real power in this hour. I'm going to say it again. We need some real power in this hour. How are we going to do it? By on our face. 
Go on before God. God, move, God. God, do it, God. God, change their hearts, God. God, change our hearts, God. God, bring us closer to you, God. God, send healing, God. Send healing in our schools. Send healing in our government. Send healing in our leadership. Send healing in our churches. Send healing in our homes. Send healing in our hearts. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying this morning. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's what time it is. We need to be prayed up. Stayed up and prayed up. Come on, somebody. So, I'm going to start it off. I apologize I didn't start it off this morning. I think y'all know my birthday was yesterday. And, well, I was extremely tired from extremely just, I guess, doing nothing. <laughs> I'm just being real. So, anywho, in the morning at 5 o'clock, I'm going to be on my face praying. I'm going to set it up to where y'all could hear me. But I'm going to try to lay on my face and pray. Um just a prayer just to start it off every morning at five o'clock from now on so i want y'all to let's do this let's rock this nation let's rock this world it is not about who is starting it off it is not about one person it is about all of us i'm trying to bring us together to unify it's about every pastor every preacher every I'm so tired of the division. They keep trying to in interrupt my calls, y'all. They don't like this. They don't like this. But I'm so tired of the division. We need to unify, but unify in prayer. Because here's the deal. Just because we unify in March don't mean we unify in spirit. The spirit, God says, those that worship me must worship me in what? In spirit and in truth. If we in the flesh, that's only going to last for a little bit. But if we unify in the spirit, come on, somebody, I just said something. Oh, honey, that, that that's a whole different dimension. That's a whole different ball game. That's a whole different thing. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. It is time to shake heaven and earth. I'm going to say it again. Heaven and earth. Come on, somebody. This is not no entertainment. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So I pray that you are on the fast. I pray that when you're fast, we're, this is what we're praying for. We're praying for government. We're praying for the police. We're praying for sinners. We're praying for our world. We're praying for our leaders. We're praying for the church. We're praying for each other. We're praying for our students. We're praying for the children. We're praying for every area of our lives, every segment of this life. We're praying for everybody, even the ones in Hollywood that's acting a fool. Yeah, I said how I said it. Every, th this is a big you know what? I told y'all this. The world is a big stage. But guess what? The spirit room is real. I'm going to say it again. The spirit room is real. Everybody's trying to be this, the next great thing. Can we just be a good thing and unify? Can we stop being jealous of each other? Can we stop being in competition? There's that spirit. I'm so tired of that spirit of competition. I'm going to keep saying this to I, I can't no more. You can't do what I do because you're not assigned to do it. I can't do what any of you do because the assignment is yours. When God sent us to this earth, you have an assignment. I have an assignment. I don't know why people are jealous. Well, your assignment a little bigger. Your assignment is this. Your assignment is that. Can you just do your assignment? I'm going to say it again. Can you just do what God called you to do? Come on, somebody. And we all need to work together, not against each other. Quit letting the, you know what? I can't wait. I'm almost finished um, printing this book, Satan Whisper, The Whispers of Satan. That's all he's doing. He whispers in your ear. And you if you take it, if you take that suggestion, then you're going to come against your brother and sister. You got y'all got to start pulling down those strongholds, the strong imaginations. Come on somebody, hallelujah. Everybody's not against you. Come on somebody, everybody's not against you. I'm going to say it again, everybody's not against you. And some of that stuff they're talking about is true. Oh, I said it. Did I say that? So I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that we come together like never before during this fast 40 days. And, and I'm going to put it out there. I promise you, I'm going to be in your face. I'm going to be in your face. I'm going to be in your face. Every time you look up on Facebook, you're going to see this. Every time you look up on Facebook, I'm going to be praying. Every time you look up, I'm going to be, oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of God and I'm not playing. Hallelujah. I'm about to up it. That's right. It ain't about Deanna. I'm nothing. I'm nothing without God. It is about the spirit of God. And I'm sick of this world. I'm sick of people thinking they got the power. You ain't got no power but by God. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah to his name. So let's do this. Come on, somebody. Let's do this. Let's do it like you ain't never did it before. Pray like you ain't never prayed before. Fast like you ain't never fast before. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's time to witness. Stop witnessing to people that are, are lost. We got to get back to the rudiments. Come on, somebody, of what God called us to do. We're supposed to be witnessing like never before. 
They got people hurting. People are dying without God. They're dying without God. They're dying without God. The world then came into the church, got everybody running after a dollar. Got everybody. Let me tell you something. I saw so many videos last week. That that's why I were, let me tell you. Oh, I'm about to do it. I wasn't going to even tell y'all my business, but I'm about to tell y'all. I refused to give a party yesterday. I refused for somebody to give me a party. I refused to do anything because I'm sick of what I've been seeing. I've been seeing pastors and preachers um, giving parties with secular music, dancing, um, just, out, just out of this world, acting a fool. And I didn't want to be like them. So I didn't do nothing. They kept asking me. I said, I ain't doing nothing. I said, I'm disgusted. Well, Deanna, no, no, you don't understand. This thing bigger than Deanna. What's wrong with y'all? We got a work to do. We got a job to do. Y'all sitting up there wanting to be like the world, looking like the world, acting like the world. Yeah, I said, you can get mad if you want. Well, we human. We human, but we supposed to be at a higher cost, a higher, a higher conviction. Come on, somebody. I mean, as if you said who you are, who you are. Nah, nah, nah. If it ain't real, I get it. Step out the way, step down, move around. Yeah, I said how I said it. Because guess what? We're supposed to be examples. Examples of the faith. Examples of leadership. Examples of being strong. Examples of saying no to temptation. If we just like everybody else, then guess what? We all lost. And the devil is a lie. I say the devil is a lie. I say the devil is a lie. I ain't lost. Hallelujah. We've came, like Jesus Christ said, to save that which is lost. Meaning that God, use us. Use us to do your work in this earth. Use us as a witness. Use us, God. Come on, somebody. My feelings are hurt what I've been seeing lately. I mean, just, just acting nasty. Yes, not even like a man or woman of God. From the higher ups to the lower ones, to the locals. And that's not of God. Don't act like y'all don't see it. That is not God. And you wonder why you ain't got no power. Because you touched the unclean thing. The world that came into the church, everybody, let me tell y'all something, what I'm seeing. I'm seeing leaders that's making y'all think that they're blessed because they got money, cars, houses, a great following. Can I tell you something? You want to impress me? You want to impress me? You want to impress me? Cast the demon out. Impress me. I'm just saying, if you're trying to impress somebody, cast the demon out. Show the power of God. I'm just saying. If we're going to be doing this. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I mean, if, 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 if we entertain in here. Because Jesus ain't never did none of that stuff I'm seeing. And I'm not saying we like Jesus. I'm not saying we perfect. To be honest with you, he said, because I go to my father, you should do greater works. Where are the greater works, church? Where are the greater works? Where are the greater works? Y'all faking, man. Y'all faking. And God going to get you. God going to get you because you're leading people to hell. There's supposed to be a conviction instead of a compromise, but y'all are compromising, and I refuse to compromise. I refuse. I'm going to say it again. I refuse. Hallelujah to his name. God, do what you got to do, God. Say what you got to say, God. Hallelujah. So I, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing this thing the way God said do it. I'm not going. I'm not following the rest. I'm not following. I'm not going in the ditch like everybody. The devil is a lie. I'm not doing it. You could talk about me, whatever, mock me. What I will not do is become worldly. I just said something. That's what's happening. They are becoming worldly. And and then if the if the people see the leaders doing it, then they're going to think it's okay to do it. I just said something again. If the people see the leaders doing it, they're going to think that's okay to do it. And woe to you, pastor, said the Lord. Woe to you, leader, that leads them in the, deep, in, in the ditch, who leads his sheep astray, he says. Woe unto you. Woe unto you because I trusted you, God said. I anointed you. I appointed you. Even when you wasn't anointed. Ooh, I just said something. God trusted you. My God, my God, my God. So I'm going to end this. So like I said, um, I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to do a live because that way I can just put it on YouTube as well so you guys can be a part of it and then they can um, hear it as well. So just be strong in the Lord. Let's do this for real. Fasting is real. Praying is real. Remember, 5 a.m. to 3 p.m., try to do just liquids. If it's a Daniel fast, that means fruits and vegetables. Um, you can eat, eat fruits and vegetables. You can do smoothies. Uh, people say, well, I don't know what to eat. You can do a vegetable lasagna. There are so many things. Make it fun. Make it fun. It's not about just always having our weight. When you really serve God, y'all, it's about sacrifice. There are things that you're going to have to sacrifice. Jesus did it. He was the sacrifice. How many of you would even do that? Come on, somebody. All right? So I just pray that we really do this because 
we need God. We no no. We need a movement of God like never before. And I said, let's start this. I yeah, marching is good, but God says those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. If it's not spirit, then what are we gonna do? And then we sure can't hear the truth if it's not because you need the spirit to hear the truth and to know the truth, to receive the truth, to learn the truth, wisdom and discernment. You gotta ask God. God give me wisdom and discernment. The just shall walk by faith and not by sight. Most people are trying to walk by sight. That's why you're getting confused, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So be empowered in this hour. I love you. I pray that you join us. It don't matter. It don't matter. Well, I have never fasted before. Maybe you need to. Well, I've never done this before. Maybe you need to. Come on, somebody. We're in some perilous times. And I don't care what you say. Marching is good, but prayer is better. Yes, I said it how I said it. Don't get caught up in, in that shenanigans because that's what they are, shenanigans. I'm sorry. And, and ain't nobody jealous because y'all love to say that. No, honey. You see, because one thing I've learned in this walk, and I'm going to get up off of here, when you handle your assignment, you don't have time to look at nobody else's assignment. I, it's, it's so real. God be having us do some stuff, huh? And if you really focus, you don't have time to watch what this one's doing, that one's doing, this one. No, just just do, do your assignment. Do your mandate before God. For that way, when you stand before him and, and he asks you, come on, somebody. And you don't want to hear those words. Depart from me. I never knew you. Oh, but, but, but God, I preached in your name. I healed in your name. I did this in your name. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. You don't want to hear those words, said the Lord. All right, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, for that is truly who we are. Act like it, walk like it, talk like it, be like it. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name, I love you all. Let's stay on the wall. I pray that you walk in forgiveness. I pray that you walk in healing. I pray that you walk in deliverance. I pray that you walk in power. Come on, somebody, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost up in here. That's what we need in this hour. We don't need entertainment. We don't need a show. Come on, somebody, let's do better. I put myself, let's all do better. God bless you.